This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? And shoutouts to Sonor. Sonic 1, you got Tails. Sonic 2, you got Shadow. Sonic 3, hmm, interesting. Yes, because I know right now a lot of people have been telling me, you know, like, Frank, you've been reporting so much Sonic 3 news. We got Shadow this, Shadow that. We're kind of annoyed by it. Do you have anything regarding Amy Rose? And I wish I did, but at the end of the day, you know, getting leaks right now, it's not easy. You know, Pinewood Studios right now, they're keeping everything under tight wraps right now. So we all have to be patient. Now, when you look at this image right here, obviously, in the Sonic the Hedgehog 1 movie, the Sonic 1 post-credit, you saw Tails, obviously. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The post credit scene, you saw Shadow the Hedgehog being in that encapsulation chamber, most likely. Now you have Sonic the Hedgehog 3. What's going to be the post credit scene right there? Now, I know a lot of you have been telling me, like, Frank, I think you're being a little bit too extreme, saying that if Amy Rose is not in this movie, that, uh, is it really warranted a boycott? And my answer is yes. Again, I'm not interested in Shadow's arc. I'm not interested in Shadow's fucking story. He's eating up too much screen time. And by adding more human characters, you're taking that spotlight away from somebody else. Like, great. So if Kristen Ritter is going to play a human character, great. That's going to be more screen time for her than she's taking up. Instead, she should be playing a more important role, like an Amy Rose, like a Rouge the Bat. You know, voice acting one of those two characters. But no, instead, you're wasting a spot for her to be, what, a captain? And not many people know who, who she is? Like, come on. This is basically turning into a Transformers situation where you're focusing more on the human characters instead of the damn Autobots and the Decepticons. A movie about robots. This is the Sonic Cinematic Universe. We care about the Sonic characters. That's what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of you are saying like, okay, what if Amy Rose comes out in the post credit scenes of Sonic the Hedgehog 3? And my, my response to that would be, I wish that would be good enough, but it's not. You know, if this is going to be something where Amy comes out at the end of the movie and it's going to lead towards a Sonic 4 with most likely a Sonic CD style uh, movie setting, I wish that was good enough. In my honest opinion, in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the final uh, post scene should be Silver the Hedgehog. You know, how he appears at uh, via a, uh, a time rift portal, basically saying, I hope I'm not too late. So he could stop the chain of events that happen in the future, basically. You could have a situation almost similar to Sonic 06, only with better writing. So again, everybody, let me know what y'all think about this. I mean, let me know who, who do you think is going to be the, the uh, mystery character at the end of Sonic 3's post-credits, depending what happens. You know, do you think it's Silver the Hedgehog? Do you think it's somebody else? Do you think it might be Amy Rose if, she, if they don't include her in the third movie? Again, anything could happen. You know, because right now, I understand, you know... They're keeping everything under tight wraps. I mean, they, they probably want to save her for, for the final trailer or something like that. I get that. But at the end of the day, I'm just sick of the anxiety already. And I think all of us are too. Let me know what y'all think about this. And I got to go. Peace out.